thank you for coming. It's great to see you here on the virtual Nirvana Day that we actually started this year. The whiskey has been out for a while, but it just made the appearance in the United States. Uh, we are so excited about our, about our whiskey, and we are so about excited about Paul Jones, uh, this milestone in the US, I can call it like that. While we are doing this, we just take care of our Indian uh, identity. So we, so we serve all of our barley from Northern India, from Rajasthan, it's a six row barley, instead of the two row traditional barley that, uh, that's been used in Scotland and the rest of the world. What six row barley does to your whiskey is pretty obvious. If you ever tasted Paul John, you know the signature texture of creaminess, that chili profile coming from the six row barley. The reason for that is six row barley has a lot of uh, proteins and at the same time enzymes. During the maturation time, these react with alcohol and create some chewable and creamy texture throughout the time. Uh, we, call, we also call this uh, thing esterification to some extent. And the, uh, that's one of the things that six row barley brings to your whiskey. The second thing is the fruity esters, especially the tropical fruits like mango and papaya that you feel from a lot of whiskey from us, like especially brilliance. And you will definitely feel that in Nirvana in a moment. So that's one part. The Indian copper pot stills that I was talking to you about, they are handmade in India. And we, want, we didn't want to just buy it from Foresight, which is also pretty hard right now because there are a lot of distilleries ordering uh, stills from Foresight too. So we made it ourselves and uh, weirdly, like this is the wash still, which has a reflux bowl just on my thumb, which increases the copper's tension. So brings you a purer product at the, at the very end. So you normally have this on the spirit uh, still and the, at the other distilleries, but we have it in the wash still to start on the light and purer part. So this uh, still is 12,000 liters capacity. The other one, which is a spirit still, is 9,000 liters capacity, and we have two pairs of these. And at the same time, we do our fermentation in a long way. Uh, we do a fermentation of 60 hours, which with like 48 hours is generally enough. Uh, but with 60 hours, we just let the uh, product sit there for uh, further development, further ester, uh, to develop further esters and flavors uh, with leaving out to uh, natural sources. So that's what we do. We use a, a local water source from Goa. We have clean water source coming from the uh, mountains behind the city and we use diluted water for our dilutions and we have filtered water for our dilutions but we don't we try not to play a, a lot with the characters of our uh, raw ingredients so six row barley comes um one of the things that we do at the distillery is taking the husk from uh the barley with a machine called the vortex machine and we just take the husk out of it and we have the ratio of i have to read this 10% 10, 10 flow, 20% husk, and 70% coarse grain, uh, which we use for our production. We get the spirit out at 63% ABV, and we put it in the barrels. 95-96% uh, of the barrels that we use at the distillery are American white oak barrels, um, especially in the core range. Uh, the amount of uh, American white oak is 100%. So all the core range of whis whiskeys, which is Brilliant, edited, bold, classic, and peated. They are all American white oak matured and they're all first filled. All the fermentation tanks and every tank we use at the distillery has to be uh, stainless steel to contain, uh, to con uh, control the contam contaminant. So what we do is we put everything into American white oak first. For the uh, first five whiskeys, we definitely do that. Then. For the limited edition whiskies, we also use barrels from Spain, which is Olorosa and Pedro Jimenez. Then this year, we will start to use Portuguese barrels, which is going to be for our Christmas edition 2020, which I am proud to say that is going to be a to uh, port finished. So in fall, we will have a Christmas edition 2020, which will be port finished. We came out with different uh, whiskies, which are like limited editions like Mars Orbiter and Kanya, which we still use like the white American white oak. However, the least alcohol amount that we had in these whiskeys were only 40% ABV. 
So we had to come with something else uh, because not everybody in the world loves 46% or higher. And actually the best selling whiskeys of the world, like actual whiskeys of the world are generally 40, 43%. They are mostly blended whiskeys as you all know. So the blended whiskeys are the best selling whiskeys of the, in the entire universe. So what we had to do was coming out with something maybe lighter in alcohol level or younger. And we found a solution in Nirvana. I know that not all of you have bottles of Nirvana with you. Uh, unfortunately, the release day of Nirvana just went like, well, it was a coincidence. It came on the same day with the uh, shelter in place. So especially to California. So we couldn't get to all of the markets, uh, but it will be fast after this situation goes on. I think on the internet, you can find it at Caskers and Flavia right now. They were fast enough to get some. And for our uh california people uh i just got the world that knl ordered some so the first question is what is the abv of nirvana so the birth of uh nirvana was actually in france france uh, french people also have a tendency to buy lighter and younger whiskies so uh that's why nirvana has such an abv as well, uh, the French also typically buy a lot of whiskeys in supermarkets, uh, more kind of yeah, bigger so chain retail. Yeah, think the price regarding to that. <laughs> yeah, in, interestingly, French, uh, France doesn't have a lot of independent uh, stores like k or like your corner store. They mostly buy it from supermarkets uh, like Total Wine or uh, what do you have in New York? I don't know. How old is Nirvana? So we actually don't release our eight statements on the bottles, but we definitely are eager to tell it because we want to be transparent with all of our production and the whiskeys. So Nirvana is technically three years old. It's made from the whiskeys, minimum three year old and above. So three to five years old and three year old is the correct answer. And the best part for the industry, I guess, was the pricing for Nirvana. We brought this bottle at an SRP of incredible twenty nine ninety nine to the United States. So there is there is no single malt to my knowledge at this quality and at this price range. And how should how should you enjoy Nirvana? Neat on the rocks with a splash of water, highball cocktail. I did it all. It tastes good, but I, I, we will leave, leave it to you. Uh, but even neat, this whiskey has an incredible character. Uh, if you haven't watched. Uh, the online reviews coming from, I think Josh Peters did a written review with Bozzy. Scotch Test Dummies have an incredible video. Thank you for that. We loved it. I had yeah, I really enjoyed it. Fun. Yeah, watching it. So if you all have some Paul John with you, let's get it up. Sorry for a lot of talking, guys. I do <laughs> like to give a lot of information. Uh Corey, your bottle's kind of blending in with your virtual background. It's too close in color to those copper pots still, so just probably by design. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to keep it here. So this is the wonderful bottle of Nirvana. Uh, I, okay, I, I, I didn't make a poll for this, but do you think that this is a better bottle design than our actual ones? What do you think, guys? <laughs> like the darker color <laughs> brings out the better. Well, I think the box is definitely really cool. The oh, yeah. On the box is, is wonderful. And I will show you a close-up photo of the Nirvana. So you can also see that Sikh over at the back. <laughs> so that's one part of the design. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you about Nirvana is you might see 43% um, Nirvana. That's made for the South African market because they only allow whiskeys over 43%. So don't get us wrong if we don't bring that here. We will definitely not bring it to the US. It's going to be 40%. We are sorry about yeah. that because... By South uh, African law, that's the minimum you can bottle and sell. Yeah. Uh, Boskut asks, I see a batch number on the bottle. Does it mean me... So every bottle, every Paul John bottle you will have uh, just check your bolt if you still have some of them uh, buzzy. They will have batch numbers at the very back, all of the bottles that we make from Brilliance, Nirvana to Mars Orbiter. They will give you the production date. They will give you the batch number. Uh, we, we want to be transparent about that. That's why. 
that's, that also helps us a lot to identify the whiskies and the problems with that because we definitely can know that okay that this whiskey was a little bit younger so it might taste a little bit different but right now everything is at their optimal ages uh, in my opinion so six to eight years is our optimal time uh in the paul john range if you all have your glasses filled with new one and it opens up a little bit the taste is like the we all have the backbones from every bottle the backbones of paul john is honey tropical fruits and spices in very general uh, means. So what you smell is actually a sweet honey, which blends in with a multi, like rigorous multi feeling coming from our six row barley. When you think about that youngness, which is three years old coming from the whiskey, it also releases a lot of that multi character. That happens with most of the Scotch whiskeys too, but three years in India, three to four years in India, is pretty long time if you consider a first fill bourbon barrel. This is even like a second and third fill, guys. So we wanted to bring it as light as possible. Uh, some of you were in, lucky enough to try the one or two year old in at the tasting with Southern California Whiskey Club, where we had in the last months. Even that whiskey was pretty awesome uh, when you consider the age. So the, with the palate, yeah, you will really find like that, the that you brought to that. Yeah, the palate will uh, show you every aspect of the creamy texture and the chewable texture that I was telling you about with straw barley. It also has a nice smooth um, transition to the back of the palate, which ends up with the spices like cardamom, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg. Uh, then you still feel that grainy texture at the very back. So this is why we designed this whiskey was we wanted this to be an everyday sipper. We want this to be in uh, harmony with the cocktails that with your favorite cocktails, like with cocktails, I will leave everything to Devin because he's the master of it. I am more of a classic guy. Oh, very nice. <laughs>